Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We have been making progress with the infestation. We've been killing everything we see and putting it into this box. For we forgive their trespasses, just as they will probably forgive our trespasses against them. Namely, whacking them with a big piece of wood. But before the hammer came down, some of them spoke to me. They told me things that I never... Things that only I could know about myself. They said, you weigh exactly 67 and a half kilograms. And they said, male pattern baldness is hereditary through the female line and your granddad was bald. Good luck with that. I said, hey, the advert where the whole family gets diarrhea is on, and it was. Have they said anything to you? Oh, um, only that you need feeding and scones and cream make a lovely afternoon tea. What about you? They told me we have to keep existing. Cheers, lads. Today's entertainment was one of the very, very long list of Homes Under the Hammer episodes that keep appearing in the TV listings. Today, Martin was at Langley Mill, somewhere in between Nottingham and Derbyshire. It has its own train station, it's very close to the M1, and is at the confluence of three canals, none of which I can remember right now. They were selling a two-bed terrace, guide price 50 grand, though it may be pushing 70 if you wanted to extend and make that two-bedroom a three-bedroom. Nothing beyond 80k in though, and if you were paying three figures for something like that, you're a certifiable moron and I hope you get diarrhea of the eyes. I didn't check to see who bought it. Does anybody, can anybody really buy a house now? We don't pay rent, but then things keep appearing here. The bathroom light went out last week, and all we had to do was knock on the bathroom door, and it was there. It was done, fixed. Nothing breaks, nothing runs out. We got to us. Today's poem is called Down to Truck. My forklift moves the supplies to the yard, and they're like, it's better than yours. Damn right it's better than yours. I could teach you, but first you'd need proper safety equipment, instructions on safety procedure and a goods vehicle operating license. May the blessings of Bob, etc, etc. I will see you tomorrow.